Right, it's time to execute a plan dinosaur. Corrupt the blood on Denver. Denver, make us proud. Boom, oh my god. Hello, welcome back to this play Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, part 41. I'm a host, Mefu. So the last time we defeated the dragon with the help of Greybor, and we also found the storyteller as well, who's been missing for half the game, almost. Now we were going to go to Ivory Sanctum to check out what's going on there, but instead I think we're going to make a slight detour and go to Canabris or Cannabis to go see what Land's um, companion quest is all about. So let's head down there right now. So how do we get there? What is the quickest path to take? Probably this way. Okay, two days and two hours. Bloody hell. Okay, here we go. Nice and slow on the horse as always. Yep. Uh, random counter, you spotted the enemies. Should I fight or evade? Uh, I will fight. Right, so we are buffed up a tiny bit. Let's go explore and see what enemies we are facing. Okay, so we've got an unhollowed Bodak. Level 10 undead. Immune to pretty much everything ever made in this game. Uh, what's your AC? 29. Okay, you don't seem that strong, but I'm assuming there's something bigger behind you. Who's got the best out? I think it's Waldriff. Let's take a quick peek. A ghoul hunt master here. These don't seem very strong, but I could be wrong. So I think we'll just lead off with the usual Bella and Ember combo. Room to over here. Then we'll grab Bella. And you don't have any blood, do you? No, you don't have any blood because you're undead. Okay, so we're going to go for Bone Shutter with a light light sprinkling of scorching ray onto this uh, uh, okay yeah, Raul can go in there Camilla you're not Camilla you're just wearing like a dress I thought you were a girl there's some water fin there as well what is that some sort of aura it has some sort of evil aura right Camilla will spirit weapon enchantment onto you what you're dead already okay never mind you guys onto this, minus the dinosaur, minus the casters. Did I really just buff up? Jesus, almost killed Camilla. Did I really just buff up for this shit? What the hell? I want five minutes of my life back. I actually thought we were going to face something treacherous, but yeah, I threw, well, I didn't throw that many buffs, but I threw enough on. i um, thinking it's going to be a legit fight, but okay, area exit, let's go. Easy XP. I guess it must have something to do with the area I'm in, because obviously I'm in a lower area now, traveling all the way back to Canabris or Cannabis. So it's taking a long ass time. There's some of the road get ready. That's great. I'm fatigued as well. I didn't even heal up Camilla. That would be like another level five wolf or something. Right, so I did the bare minimum of buffing this time. I just put a haste on, cast some stuff on the I've got some AC on, some uh, stat increasing stuff. Let's see what kind of things we're dealing with here. Squire and Squire. So maybe not a combat. Who knows though? Did this throw a rock at me? Okay. So of all the scrolls the intendant gave us, you choose this one, really? It didn't even occur to you this was a problem. How are we going to face our mentor now? It's just a spell that, that well, long story short, it will help us against demons. We will want to be safe from demons, don't we? The young man who stands staring at something squirming in the center of the meadow turns his gaze to you. Oh, seems like we've got reinforcements and it's a commander, no less. Who are you? Young man salutes you hastily. We're Crusaders, Commander, as far as a Sir Afri Commander. What happened to you? We were sorting rescue prisoners in Canabras after we heroically liberated them. So our leader and mentor, noble uh, Sir Alfre, decided to take a defensive position and fight. Or we tried to get ready for battle. Right, so what is that? There's a cluster of flexible, elongated, pulsating objects. These are the spouts of plants. Yeah, I think I know that. They only look like, like ropes that are wide at the base and narrow at the ends and suddenly gain the ability to move. You're trying to say like tentacles. We don't use words like that here. <laughs> like pollen? Yes, that's right. The plant shoots are full of pollen. So where's your leader? And he's got blue hair. Okay. What is going on? This must be a joke. So Afri, he is here and hurrying to appear before you. The asthma standing before you screams of chivalry. His armor and gear have seen many battles, but they're carefully polished. Every belt is properly fitted and every buckle sparkles. The asthma gallantly greets you. My sincere greetings to the Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. Blah, 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 blah. The Knight interrupts himself and turns his gaze to the spouts of spring fall from the ground. His eyes go wide. What is this? 
So as we're about to depart the garrison, the intended arcanist gave us a scroll that creates a demon trap. We decided that now is the best time to use it. This is a very good trap. These wiggling serpent-like grabbers can firmly hold a demon. Exactly, these rope-like moving sprouting pseudopods have the optimal shape to grab and mobilize a demon. Why don't you just call them tentacles? Play along, these bendable sinuous sprouts will surely help fight demons. Squire looks at you with silent gratitude and utters a sigh of relief. We've cleared up the question that troubled me. Now it's time to turn our attention to more pressing matters. Tell me, my squires, did you breathe quite out and an outline of the gravity of our situation? Yes or no? I don't remember. I'm going to kind of skip through this because, uh, yeah, it's just, I feel like this is a bit of fluff. Uh, briefly, Commander, Munson really is pursuing us, but it's not a demon. It's something even more heinous and unnatural, a demo dand. The assessment of it as a very, very nasty creature is accurate. My squires and I raided his lair and liberated several prisoners. This thing was going to drag to the abyss, but the monster is coming after us. I estimate it will be here in half an hour. We plan to fight. Uh, yeah, I'll be happy to help. It's wonderful, Commander. It'll be honest, fight side by side. Please prepare yourself. A very, very, no very nasty demo dand will soon be here. Okay, time passed away, 33 minutes. He said half an hour, but it's gone three minutes over time. It's a bit late. Okay. So, very nasty demo dand. The creature that appears before you looks alien and disgusting, even for those accustomed to the abominations of the whirlwind. Very, very nasty is a fitting description. Its flesh seems to boil and melt, and long, dark growths constantly shift and stretch along its flesh. The demo dand stares at Sir Alfrey. I'm all to the blood of heaven. I recognize your smile. It was you who dead, break into my lair and steal my offering to my masters. For this you will become an offering yourself, you and everyone with you. Are you trying to threaten me with your puny weapon? It would barely scratch me, but I can crush you like a maggot. I the command of the fifth crusade and these people are under my protection. Don't expect an easy victory, you monster. I'll go for one. You hear that, monster? We're not the only ones standing against you. Our heroine and leader stands with us. Be afraid, monster, for the final hour of your villainy in the land of Galarian has come and don't try to threaten me with your might, your invincibility or even those the light cast away glance at the demon dan's ever shifting skin growths, disgusting appendages. For the strength of a true knight is not in a shield, sword, or armor. A brave heart is my sword, and my faith is the righteous cause my shield. Bloody hell. Oh, it trapped him. Or it. Ha. Uh. <laughs> Guys, it's been trapped. What level is this thing? Level 20. Okay, it's actually quite a high level, uh, surprisingly. I was supposed to be a lot weaker than that, that's why I barely buffed up. Do I still have haste? Did I even put haste on? I'm assuming I didn't. Let's use Wardrift to do that now. Okay. Dinosaur, fuck off. Okay, he's almost down already. It's surprising. Uh, Ember, you fall back for a second. You scorch and raise. I'm guessing your touch is low like everyone else. Yes, it is. AC is very high, about 40 there on the AC. Um, let's go for a bone shatter as always. Need to cast that. Okay, I took a lot of damage from my bone shatter. It hasn't got much HP, but um, yeah, no one else seems to be hitting. I'll keep bone shattering. Did it actually fatigue him? Yes, it did. Are you immune, immune to exhaustion? No, you're not. Okay. Raul's dying, and so is Camilla. I'm gonna pop that. Oh, it's just Camilla that's dying, actually. Yeah, Camilla's really dying. Let's get Camilla out there if we can. Run, Camilla, run. Circle back. We're still casting that, we're still attacking. Okay, Wardrip hasn't gone in yet, actually. I should probably put him into the fray. Okay, killing the squires, that's quite up my mat. Um, I could heal myself quickly with Breath of Life. Yeah, might as well. I'm gonna rest up soon anyway. Are you just missing everything, Ember? The fuck? All right, let's do some control fireballs. What's your reflex like? 23. It's your highest bar. I should be able to hit these anyway. Let's set it on the outskirts just in case that uh, unholy belt decides to do extra damage to me because I've actually got um, that belt equipped. This one. So, under its sight, all your fire spells deal just for 2d6 unholy damage become immune to fire damage. I'm actually tempted to test this out on Camilla. Let's put it like this. Let's see if I take the 2d6 damage, even though I shouldn't be taking any damage because it's a controlled fireball in the first place. Okay, uh, Raul's tanking now, that's okay. Not. Raul's dying. I'm gonna heal herself. Another spire's down. Raul's almost dead. Control fireball's going off, I'm gonna switch that to a serious. I still wanna do it though for science. I wanna do it for science. Raul's gonna die. What the fuck? Okay, so it definitely didn't hit Camilla at all, because that would have hit her. Or did it? There's a symbol on her for some reason, but that's okay. Oh, uh, so I'm casting another one. Okay, right. So we should be okay. Okay, we all went down. Dinosaur's in there as well, tanking. Uh, we'll just attacking as well, but not really doing much. Can we need to run away? Did Raul die? Yeah, Raul's dead. 
Reduced? Why is it so reduced? Fast overcome spell resistance again. I think my bone shot is the only thing that's been hitting this, which is really strange. Is there anything else I can do to it to help out a tiny bit? Not really. Uh, let's go like the middle again. Take that off. So I'm literally killing it with bone shatters only. That's uh, pretty tragic. Let's go for siphon life. Okay, dinosaur's down as well. Camilla can go back in there. I'll just get uh, Ember to spam heal Camilla for a sec. And it's dead. So I pretty much killed it with my main character only. Right, so so Afri... I forgot I spawned a Shadow Demon when I... um. Cast level six spells and higher. So after he catches a breach, looking around the battlefield, I thank you for the help, Commander. And I thank you even more for the great tact and care you've shown. I noticed that you play along the squires and didn't mention a certain word, a word that causes me great discomfort. Painful memories are related to a traumatic experience in the past. If you will allow it, I will not bring this topic up again. It's too difficult for me. Yeah, sure, I was happy to help. My gratitude has no bounds, thank you. Before you move on to do the great things that lay ahead of you, allow me to present you with a small gift, a humble knight, no matter how noble could Hardly possess something that would surprise you, but this gift serves as a memento of our encounter. Agile hand axe, plus four. Yeah, right, okay. Let's see what the demon had. Nothing. So I guess just literally just gave me XP and that hand axe. So yeah, this was a bit of a fluff thing to do. Any perception checks here? Anyone to talk to apart from you? Rescued female prisoner. Shadow demon there. No, I think we're good. Yeah, let's leave. So random, so goddamn random. At least what's my XP out of it. Right, so I did some random crusade battles. Let's carry on this path. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, actually, we'll carry on a tiny bit longer. Just a tiny bit longer. So we can make the most out of this. Don't want to rest too much. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, we're now exhausted, so we should probably rest now, definitely. Right, so we rested up. Let's carry on going. This is such a long journey. Bloody hell. How about I have to do this again? We first sneak past the enemies prepared to fight. Uh oh. Right, so we've been ambushed by <laughs> level 7 spider, level 3 spider, and a level 5 uh, ferocious scur. I'm pretty sure I don't need buffs for this. I'm gonna run you back. Why's your AI always on? I don't get that. Okay. And you guys didn't heal up properly after the rest. That's even weirder. I will resist. Right, uh, let's bring you over this way and myself over this way. Oh, they're rushing in, they're charging me. Um, don't really want to waste spells here. I guess I could do like a controlled fireball on everyone here. If they manage to survive long enough. Let's go for that next. Oh, thanks for that. No, I don't even need that controlled fireball. I could actually start healing that well, though. It's weird he didn't uh, heal up with me. He should have done. Prepare yourself. Yeah. What did I just cast? A Siphon Life? Oh, shit. I need to take that off auto cast. Right, I got some health back anyway. Right, let's heal up a tiny bit. Right, so that was a random crap encounter. Every little bit of XP counts anyway. So let's just carry on going to Canabras. Uh, yeah, keep going. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. Who, what's this? Marta Zakaris' Cemetery. I thought I did this already. Yeah, I visited this location already. Okay, never mind. Carry on going. Carry on. And Canabras. We are back, baby. We're back. Oh, yes. The city of Canabras. So peaceful. So tranquil. So we need to go to Neef home for the land's thing. Five hours. Bloody hell. This is so much traveling. The things I do for land. The things I do. I'm exhausted again as well. I don't think I can even manage my crusade on this map. Come on. Yeah, man. I wonder if he was supposed to give me this quest sooner, or as if I was supposed to do it sooner. It feels like I'm really backtracking right now. New location discovered Market Square. Really? <laughs> I think I discovered that like years ago. Why have I only suddenly discovered it again? Come on. Yes? Okay, I'm just going to rest up quickly just in case once again. Right, so we're right back at Nerf Home. I put out some buffs already just in case there's a fight. Okay, we're getting some loads of corrupted Mongol guards. When was I supposed to get this quest? These aren't level twos. The what the hell? I don't know what's going on. Right, let's put um What can you autocast? Not a lot really. And we can do evil eyes, I guess, to keep her out of combat. 
These are really low level, bloody hell. I don't know what I was supposed to do this, but... I literally haven't got given the quest, like, two parts ago. Fucking <laughs> absolutely annihilated. Um, okay. Okay, I'm going up. Stuff to loot. Carry on. Did we find trouble? No. Uh, level fours Maybe. again. Yep. <laughs> Even the dinosaurs joining in. The weak peace. dinosaur. Go yep, I come to recruit them by slaughtering them all. I feel like Anakin going into the uh, Jedi Temple and killing loads of kids right See now. Oh, these ones are slightly higher. Five. Okay. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Whoa, you can stay there. Okay, you that. Um, it's really annoying having to micro the archers. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty tragic. So many unneeded deaths. Right, um, Chief Soul is this way, I think, up the hill. Chief Soul? Are you here? I've come to negotiate and loot your stuff. Anything else? Chief So, you holding out on me? Yes, you are, Chief So. Yes, you are. Is that masterwork? No. Yeah, I had no idea when I was supposed to uh, visit this place, but anyway. Chief So seems has to say for himself. Chief So looks even older than he used to. His sparse hair is dishebled. There's dry blood on his head. His teeth are broken and shards are sticking out of his mouth. He's mumbling something under his breath, not even noticing you. You can see bitterness and rage warring on the human half of Lan's face. Chief, is there anyone normal left? We came back to take you to the surface. The chief squints at you. His healthy eyes swollen shut of seemingly being punched. Ah, Lan, it is you. You brought more uplanderish. Well, Fingish can't get any worse. After everything she's done. Chief, so we come to take the Mongols to the surface. Come on, Chief, shake it off. I have the commander of the 5th Crusade with me. You wouldn't want to fall to pieces in front of her. Come on, if there's any normal Mongols here, gather them all up. We're going to Dresden. Chief Koss, gather who? There's no one left to gather. Windog took everyone, and oh, Windog's back. And the ones who stayed, they're hers too. She wants us to torture me, to make me she who's in charge here. If someone could find her, find her and punish her. But there are no warriors left here at all. Windog, she came back, the land shakes his head bitterly. Listen, Chief, I'm just an ordinary guy who can shoot a bow, but I hope I'm good enough to count as a warrior. I'll find Windog, and you, you just need to hold on. You've taken a beating before. Remember how we all looked after the fight with Deep Dwellers? You got two black eyes that day. Now you have just one. See? Everything's not so bad. This this is different, Lan. These are not the Deep Dwellers, no. These are our own. When it's our own, it hurts more. Uh, what happened here? First we lived as usual, argued, blah, 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 blah. For infected foulish and then wind dogs. She came with those mad ones. She started talking, tried to stop them. She shut me up. They have to become stronger. She killed some, frightened some. Everyone went with her. Those who could walk after she did her talking and those in the village, blah, 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 blah. The uplander's name is Bella and she is the commander of the 5th Crusade. Do you understand what it means? Chief, the Mongols are not alone. Death is not coming today. Then we to take everyone. Where? There are many cavish. Maybe she went to the maze, maybe not. Do I want to look for her? No. I think I know where she is. Windog and I have a secret spot where she used to get up so angry. She would say she was going to live there forever. A big cave, warm and dry. And there's no way to sneak in without being seen. The perfect hideout. All right, Chief, we'll find Windog and get back to the Mongols and she'll get what's coming to her. I think you can. She's stronger now. I don't know how, but she is. We're no pushovers either, Chief. When we get back, I'll tell you many, so many things. You won't believe how we are fighting demons, what things are happening up there on the surface. Right, so find Windog in her secret den. Let's have a look around for that. Okay, some more brutes to fight. That's quite a lot of them this time. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's just tragic, honestly. I wonder when this uh, quest was supposed to be given to me. I'm very curious now. Very curious. Unless Windog's going to be like level 100. Secret hideout. Here we are. Nice and easy. Come on, dinosaur. Hurry up. Right, so put some more buffs on. Put haste on as well so I can trek through this a lot faster. So, ooh, so Windog is waiting for you, trying to find Mongols. Those standing closer to her seem more sentient, while others just growl menacingly. Windog chuckles. Look who's back. Come to look at my mighty army. You think this is army? I've been to the surface and I've seen a real army. Compared to that, this is just a gang of wimps. You just haven't seen us fight, Land. Don't worry, you will. I think the power of your army is vastly overrated. Did you make them like this or did Sabra Melek help you? We came back, but what have you been doing this whole time? Playing queen for the Mongols. 
Good, leave the Mongols alone, Windog. We've come to bring these poor folks back to the surface. Evil, they look all right. Does your offer to give them to me still stand? Attack, enough talking, you murderer. Uh, let's go free. What about you, being playing the Crusade Commander? Don't look so surprised. My master tells me everything, but you don't impress me. You've just reaped the fruits of what the Crusader Queen has been building for many years. It doesn't take wits to do that. I've been here in the dark, making deadly soldiers out of cows and weaklings. Fighting them will be your last battle, Commander. This is not what I wanted, Windu. They wanted to protect what was dear to them and start a new life, not become animals. And is it just me, or did you just compare yourself to the Queen? The only crown you have are the lumps in your head. Ooh, that burn! I think the power of your army is vastly overrated. Did you make them like this or just, uh, let's just skip through these. Yeah, Different power, yeah. Um, okay, so I don't really want to go evil because I don't really want them like that. I guess I could, to be fair. Let's go for it. We look chuckle, so now you want them want me back in the maze. I understood your feelings, your ambitions correctly, but this spring has dried out for you, Outblader. Now only death awaits you. Land shakes his head seriously. Don't bother, we need to free them. Don't not take advantage of their misfortune. Attack, enough talking, you murderer. Even look at you, disgust me, I'm leaving. Attack. Okay, she's level 13. <laughs> what is this? She's fucking dead. She's literally dead. I instantly get there instantly. This is a slaughter. This is a slaughter. <laughs> what? Oh, she's alive still? We don't jump back clutching at her wound, but immediately falls to her knees. Enough. That's enough. I want to talk to you. <laughs> so what is there to talk about? You're an interesting specimen of a dumb but stubborn creature. Leave while you can, I won't repeat the offer. Let's go for evil. Aye, yes, yes, you're right. I'm nothing against you. What is there to talk about? It's not too late yet. I'm the unworthy wind dog will serve you. You, I realise you are now the chosen of the gods. There has never been anyone like you. Allow me to become your slave. Now looks at his former friend with unconcealed revulsion. This is too much even for you. Stop it. I can't watch you humiliate yourself. I don't know who you are, but you're not wind dog. I will be everything my mistress commands. <laughs> so funny. You made a lot of mistakes, Windog, but you can atone for the mitty weakness that only passes through strength. Evil. Serving the crusade is truly an honour, but you're not worthy of it. You are too easy to defeat. You're not even worthy of becoming my slave. Do you understand now that the power given to you by the demon is worth nothing? You don't need the so-called gifts of the abyss to become stronger. At least while you can, I won't repeat the offer. Let's go for evil too. Serving the crusade is truly an honour, but you're not worthy of it. You are too easy to defeat. You are not worthy of becoming my slave. Ooh, Windu looks at you as if her world has just collapsed. No, no, I've done so much. I must be stronger. No, I suppose I've been seeing myself for too long. The truth is, it's me sitting in the dust in front of you, not the other way around. You, I asked Safamalak about you. I dreamed of defeating you. After our last encounter, it was all I could think about, but I'm weak. I am so weak. I don't even know. She seems to actually mean it. You got your lesson, I hope you'll remember it. Now get out. Fine, you may join me. You deserve death what you've done. You got your lesson, I hope you remember it. And now get out. Window grinds her teeth, I understand. You have the right of the strong. You can order me and I will obey. I am nothing compared to you. Make sure we never meet again, Windu. Next time I'll kill you. Ooh. Tell so everything. So Windu has lost the battle. God, that's such an easy battle. Wonder when I was supposed to do that, honestly. Honestly. Let's uh, loot around, see what they got. So we've got here, uh, the body of Dryer, the Mongol trailer has been ripped apart as if by a pack of wild animals. Oof. Christ. Won't be training with her anytime soon. Heavy mace unidentified. Anything else useful? Doubt it. This place is so low level. Camilla. A ring here. And a crappy bow. And over here. Stuff to sell. Anything else? Any perception checks? Every little helps. Okay, let's go back to Seoul and tell him what happened. Let's go. Right, so we ride back at Chief Seoul. Let's tell him. Let's tell him. Oh, the game's glitching out. Yes, bow before me. Bow before me. One of the Mongols comes up to land, sniffs him. The land clenches his fist, but doesn't want to move. The Mongol looks him in the eye and suddenly drops to one knee. The rest do the same. What the? I can smell wind doggish blood on you, and so can they. I suppose they chose you as their chief instead of her. They know who is stronger. I decided to let Windog go. So shakes his head. What? Windog's gone? But why did you? Hmm. Outlandish. What do you care about us and our problems? Don't be sad, Chief. Your tribe is no vigilante mob. If you want to give Windog a piece of your mind, you'll get your chance. She's not going to leave us alone. I can feel it. Windog is of this tribe. She'll be drawn back to us no matter what. No matter how hard she fights. Okay. We can't put this off anymore. It's time for the underground crusaders to become crusaders on the surface. So let's have a coarse gurgling sigh. Well, when it's time, it's time. Lead on, land. 
Lion raises his hands in defense. No, no, Bella is our commander. She will lead you. Phil turns you and straightens up with effort. Well, commander, thank you for not forgetting us. We are crusaders. You're the crusader commander. Lead the way we shall follow. Right. Nice. I've got some mongrels on my team now. Some very low level mongrels. That's probably not going to do anything at all. Uh, we need to backtrack all the way back to the city, which is probably going to take a long ass time. So let's do that. Right. So we have traveled back to Dresden via teleport. Saved us a lot of time. Now we need to travel to the Ivory Sanctum. So let's head down this long, treacherous road. One day, 16 hours. Ah, <sighs> Christ. I need to get some fresh air, I guess. My horse. My horse. Random encounter, you spot the enemies. Let's fight. Right, so I'm being stopped by a random baboo level 7. I did the bare minimum of buffing. Uh, oh, there's the Curry Devastator over here as well, level 14. Uh, right, let's send Raul to tank that. Send Camilla and we'll just go. I think it's a send everyone on that. Let's get Team Archer instead to deal with that inside debuffing. Uh, you can actually do some blood magic because I need to rest in soon because of fatigue. You can do Scorching Rays and Power Bonds. Yeah, I think we're good. Minus two level. Bloody hell. I hate these things so much. Why are there so many baboos here? Fuck off, baboos. Are you guys doing that? You can just go on that, actually. I don't really care if you die or not. You won't survive me. Taking ages to kill that. Okay. Almost dead. It's dead. Well, let's clean up. Uh, you guys can attack those. Did you kill him? Yes, you did. Okay, let's go for that. Oh, Ember with the swing. Run it back a sec. There we go. Let's do that instead. Might be a bit faster. You are Cover Cover that. All right, that's a fairly easy battle, apart from that level drain onto Raul, which I need to get rid of right now, Camilla. Right, that was a nice easy battle. Let's carry on going. Down this long path. Can we get to that Crimson Dust place? So let's carry on going down towards the Ivory Sanctum once again. The longest traveling in the world. Okay, and then we can go to here. Four hours, okay. You suppose a traveling merchant do you wish to meet with them? Yeah, sure, why not? Right, so the traveling merchant was just a skeleton guy. I also discovered this ring as well that I got from Windog. A message shot to wherever this ring gets a plus one bonus to attack while using a point blank shot. Pretty damn strong. Right, so I sand that ring onto Aru just to make sure she hits even better when she decides to shoot, that is. So let's carry on going. We're all fatigued. Let's see how far we can go. Someone on the road, get ready. Uh oh. Right, I'm assuming this is not going to be a combat encounter. There's an ancient ghost here. Because I don't really want to rest up or buff up. You're surrounded by a lonely, empty landscape. In front of you, a solitary figure stares into the fire. The flames illuminate his ghostly form, but his features are concealed beneath a mask. You hear the muffled wail of the wind in the distance, like a child crying for its mother. Well, would you look at that? Adventure has arrived. The figure's face is hidden behind the mask, but he sounds friendly, although you detect his notes of sadness in his voice. When he speaks again, however, his tone is cold and motionless, as if reciting a text he memorized long ago. You are searching for an ancient knowledge, but the path to the heart mystery can only be re revealed to the one most worthy. However, all it takes are a few small steps to set you on this path of discovery. To put yourself to the test, answer some more questions the knowledge you possess and prove that you're worthy of possessing far greater knowledge. Uh, right, okay. Uh, you're a curious creature, you look like a ghost, but uh, a ghost will be affected by power and you are not. Yeah. Some souls complete their earthly journey but fail to reach the courts of Pharasma, Lady Necromancer. These souls are different from ghosts. In other words, I am not undead. The spirit pauses and continues in a flat voice. It does not matter who I am. I simply ask the questions. Ooh. Okay, ask me a question I will answer. The first question is not intended to be difficult. The ghostly figure gestures with his hand and a leaf appears. He holds it to you and you notice that it's almost as big as the palm of his hand. The leaf appears fresh and vibrant. Tell me which tree does this leaf belong to? Oh my god. It's, I haven't really got many choices. I'm guessing I failed the perception check. So let's go for one. All it takes a little knowledge to begin your journey. By answering the question correctly, you have taken the next step towards acquiring great knowledge. The heart mystery is now open to you. Solve its riddle and you can continue forward. The secrets of creation will be revealed to the one most worthy. Do not give up your search. Oh. So I guess that's correct. Nice, okay, so I've got some items here, some scrolls. A strange, melodious sound fills the air. The ghost stands up hastily. I've been released, the demonic spell is gone. The ghost's voice has changed, his tone is no longer cold and emotionless. Listen to me, adventurer. I'm a dead man forced to keep an eternal watch. I'm a spirit bound by a spell. Magic forces me to say all this nonsense about knowledge and rewards. It also prevents me from telling you who condemned me to this fate, what happens within the heart of mystery. However, there are other things I can tell you. You have to hurry, though. I only have time to answer a single question before the spell sends me back to the oblivion. 
Who are you? How did you die? How long have you been bound to the heart mystery? Is there anything I can do to help you? Why would anyone go to all this trouble to find the one most worthy? What's the point of all these puzzles and riddles? Um, let's go for four. I will remain bound to the heart mystery until someone solves the secret. When that happens, I will give them my freedom and then I can rest in peace. But so far, no one has been able to accomplish such a feat and there are many who have tried so many. The ghost barely managed to finish the sentence. A sudden burst of magical energy surges through his body and disappears with a scream. Well then, that was quite tragic. So I need to save that ghost somehow for the XP, not because I want to. Ooh, some loot here as well. Nice. So let's go back to the world map. Right, so we're back on the world map after that weird encounter with that ghost. Um, let's carry on going down. I'm going to try and make it as long as I can without resting up. Let's keep my corruption levels low. It's called the riddle. What's that? Oh, that's for the uh, heart of the mystery, whatever. Mystery of the heart. I can't remember what it's called now. Let's carry on. Come on. We can do it. Oh, I think we made it. We made it. Wait. I should probably rest before I go in, just in case. Right, so we have arrived at the Ivory Sanctum. I buffed up a tiny bit. Let's have a look around, see what we can find. Okay. That's easy. Nothing up here, it's a dead end. This map's not really big. I'm guessing there's gonna be some sort of like den to go into a cave. Uh, let's go left first. Get the fuck up this dinosaur though. Fuck off dinosaur. Oh, that's roll. Get away dinosaur, god damn it. It's just so big, it's blocking me the whole time. Um, another dead end. What's this? A pile of skulls. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Ivory Sanctum, so that leads in there. I was going to have another quick look around Precisely. so there's any more loot around. Perception checks and all that. Don't think there is by the judging of the map. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so inside we go. Hoo, hoo, hoo. What will we find oh, in here? Oh, fuck it. He's going to walk like, really slowly, isn't he? Come on. Come on. Come on, Denver. Let's go. Okay, so we're inside, inside the Ivory Sanctum. I was expecting a palace or some sort of temple, but it's a cave. I'm pretty confused right now. Unless it's going to lead into a temple. Level fives, right? Another obstacle. That's weird. Why is it level fives here? All right, Ember, take that off. We'll put on a evil eye. Surrender or else. Okay, 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 okay. I underestimated the fight completely. It's Cota snipers in the back, level sevens. Remote warriors and oh wait, remote warriors actually quite strong because of the fireballs, don't they? Yeah, okay, so that's like a level 15. Minotaur. The roll's going straight on to this. Wargif, Wargif. Um, we'll go for a sleep onto the Minotaur if we can. No, we're not going to be able to do that, are we? Probably not. Shit. Everyone's kind of bottlenecking themselves here as well. Here comes the fireballs. Shit. Reflex saved on most of that damage that could have been done. Actually, around the back here as well, over 16. We'll try and get sleep on that one instead. Ember, stop doing that. Get sleep on that. Uh, let's grab Team Archer. You. We'll try and take down the Minotaur first, I think. It's going to be the biggest threat. Where's Camilla? Camilla? Camilla's right at the back doing nothing. He's completely blocked off. Um, I'll go for a thingy, protection from fire. Bella's dying. I need to move out of the way. Shit. So much fire damage coming in. This is crazy. This is crazy. Let's do some blood magic on them. It's going to hit pretty hard, I reckon. Ember's dead. Fuck, when did that happen? Did she, did she just die from the fire? I thought she was supposed to be immune to fire. Let me double check this shit. What the fuck? Oh, the Minotaur hit her for 64 and killed her outright from the charge. Oh my god, what a start to Ivory Sanctum this is. Right, it's time to execute a plan dinosaur. Corrupted blood on Denver. Denver, make us proud. Run in. Okay, Denver's going in. You are for some reason on your AI. I'll bring you back here. So as you get caught in an explosion, run Bella back as well. Right, Denver, let's go. 
Right in the middle, everyone. Yeah, get this. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Oh, my God. Look at all that damage. Look at that. Everyone's been corrupted. I'm going to be really careful of exploding them now as well. Uh, Ember, can we move you up a bit? Let's see if we can actually get a fireball from here. Let's finish them off. Yep, there we go. Explosion. Oh, my God. The FPS lag. Boom. <laughs> they were detonated. Shit. I run back. I need to reposition my team slightly as well. Okay. Um, they're coming? Yeah, they're coming. Right, so. You're sick and that's good. I'll run you in there. Get Team Archer. <laughs> that explosion though. That fucking explosion. You guys onto that. Bring the casters up as well. Would you if you can stand there, same with Camilla. Okay, taking that down, you're sick as well. I just gotta be careful, make sure I don't kill any more corrupted blood. Otherwise my whole team gets it as well. I think we're okay. Do I need more spells? Do I need more spells? That is the question. Maybe some random fireballs. They don't cost me anything anyway, because it's from my staff. I will do that. You can actually reduce AC. Oh, I can actually go for a sleep instead. Maybe I'll go for a sleep. What's your will? Your will is weak. Okay, axe throwers, assaulter. Oh, I'll go for the axe throw instead of the sleep. Yeah, it makes more sense. Okay, this is a random fireball. Barely did anything. It's completely reduced. Oh, they've got loads of uh, energy fire resistance on them. Okay. Um, let's send Camilla and Mordrick in there. Okay, he's been put to sleep. They're taking him down. Pick everyone there, apart from Bella. So everyone onto this. It's been taken down as well. This got broken out of it, but let's put everyone on him. All the marshals. And he's out there as well. That's 65 sneak attack damage. Jesus, Walter. Jesus. Right, so Shadow Demon was really useful there. <clears throat> let's uh, loot these up. So, Great Axe. Masterwork. Hand Axe unidentified. Masterwork again. And these are just normal things. Okay, let's push in. Look at the massacre. That dinosaur though. What a hero. Sacrificed himself for greater good. I lost my longsword. More masterwork stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Nice. What an easy fight that was. <laughs> okay, well, wall inlaid with a whimsical mosaic of bones from humans, animals, and some unknown creatures. Hit a door here and a trap. That's close. This is my kind okay. of work. Let's open up. I wonder if I should actually do a thing where I kind of send someone in just to scout it out every time I instead of going in there fully. So I think when I go in there fully, that's when I die. Okay, They'll so Stealth and Bella. Sneak her in. Okay, what scares there? Just one, it's like level five. Okay, let's pull everyone back so we can fight in it. Shadow Demon? That's how he's actually doing something now. Get rid of one back. Um, don't know what everyone's doing there, but cool. Uh, is one minute 30. Not be trifled with. Right, so let's pull with uh, Aru. Let's go. Okay, so what's in here then? There's loads of scares at the moment. Almost killed one. Shadow Demon, get him. Get him, Shadow Demon. Get, get him. Is that it? Oh, there's a Voker in the back there. Okay, try to freeze my Shadow Demon. Level 9 Evoker, right, okay. Let's grab Team Archer, see if we can just use the Marshals pretty much to deal with this. Um, yep. Let's go for that. Wait till anything big comes out like this. What is this? It's like a giant pig. Naf Fesh Knee. Nash Fesh Knee. Big spell resistance. AC 37, flat 30, 32, touch 21, as usual, very low. It has true seeing and holy oil. What's that? Uh, something about first each border creature gets a four deflection bonus to AC and a four resistance bonus on saves. Uh, okay, it surrounds the subjects, so it's kind of like gives it to everyone around him. Immunities to most things. I don't think sleep's on this list though. There's no sleep there, no. Okay. I've got to watch out for that big pig. Uh, guys, you're going way too far in. How is that even a thing? Minus my char. Ooh, there's clock success as well in stealth. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay, okay. 
Right, so how do we deal with clocks again? Let's put loads of mine effects. Um, I'm pretty sure we just blast the fuck out of him, don't we? Let's go for a skeletal army there. Don't know what that was. Unholy Nimbus will save. What did that do? Unholy Nimbus. Who did it even hit? Hit land. Let's have a look. Days. You're right, okay. Let's pull everyone back. Shadow Demon's doing a good job of a uh, land. Land stuck. Okay, uh, let's bring you up. Let's go for some blood magic here. We shouldn't be able to hit the skeletons, but I don't want to take any risks. Let's move you to the side a bit here. Whoa, that was a big, big hit there. From the uh, Cogitus Invoker. Not sure I'll be able to get this off now. Uh, Ember, I could throw a random fireball in there as well. Uh, where's Lan? Oh yeah, Lan's stuck in... What is that? Jeez, I thought it was landing on me then. Okay, blood magic. Boom! Minus five strength for level one. Shadow Demon's just tanking it. <laughs> Voker's down. Oh my god, can you evoke his own fire? That's amazing. The clock six is still alive. Uh, Lan, are you free yet? No. Okay, let's bring in Team Archer again. Which will probably be just our roofs, I think. No, you're actually not affected, so I'll bring you back in. Let's see if we can shoot that this. Oh, he's gone. What about some fairy dust? Um, Wardriff. Fairy dust, please, or glitter dust. Glitter dust over here. This thing's just immune to everything until it gets uh, too many, uh, what's it called, ability drains. Okay, you. Lost you. Onto that. Um, I might spam some magic missiles at it as well. Where's my main character? Magic missile spam. Cover me. I should probably kill the pig first though. That pig's probably way more dangerous than Fox is. Yeah, I'm actually gonna... Oh shit, I killed it. Did, did you kill it? Yeah, you killed it. Okay. Right, Raul, push you up. Get him, Raul. Charge. Okay, the pig's there. Pig's doing random pig stuff. Let's stop doing that. Let's go for a bone shot on the pig. Uh, Ember, let's go for a scorching ray onto the pig. You. You're still attacking that. You take that down fast. Landing you got the fucking way. Wardjeff, Wardjeff, Wardjeff. Put you on that as well. Camilla also bring you forward. I wonder how strong the pig is. The pig's dying fast. But is he hitting? Not at the moment. Okay, everyone onto the pig. You, you, plus you onto the pig as well. Unholy Nimbus again. Oh, everyone's day is shit. We're just tanking this. I think he has True Sing as well, so he's going to go through that mirror image I have on. How long is this going to last for? 21 seconds. Lan, are you out of yours yet? Two seconds. I'm not really doing anything back here for some reason. I'm trying to go for another Bone Shatter. Yep. Uh, oh, I'm dazed. That's why. God damn. Okay. I see. I see. A big damage going out there. All just still tanking. He's swinging onto Camilla as well. So actually, we'll just not even tanking. He's actually swinging and missing on these, surprisingly. Okay, they're back out. Sneak attack, nice, okay. Right, you can stop what you're doing. Yes. Right, okay. That wasn't too bad. That could have ended a lot worse than that. Um, I think I'm still in combat because the music hasn't stopped. Always watch your back. Is it because I'm dazed? Camilla? I'll wait for Camilla to come out of this. I don't want to press in just in case another fight straight away. Camilla? Okay, Camilla's out. Okay, I think the combat's over now. Let's kill that Camilla a tiny bit. She's only not took damage there. Uh, yep. Okay, no one else really took any damage. Camilla again. That okay, should be enough, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, nice. Right, so anyone else needs buffs? No, I think we're good on the buffing. Okay, let's loot up then. Right, scrolls, yeah, Master Whip Bidouches, as usual. Master Whip Dagger, nice. Okay, let's sell. Okay, the pig didn't have anything on him. The pig died pretty fast, to be fair. Okay, we've got some switches here. Knowledge World, Knowledge World, more switches, Knowledge World, loads of Knowledge World checks here. I'm wondering if I don't hit them all, I might be locked out the door, but I doubt it, I don't know. Maybe it's going to give me a clue to the puzzle. Right, let's check this out then. I'm the best. Jesus Christ, a chaotic conglomeration of confessions from the Baphomet Cotus. 
I murdered a crusader officer, assumed his appearance, and served in the crusade army for 10 years. I infiltrated the Inquisitor squad of cannabis and selected the cultists that were to be burnt at the stake for half a year. Nobody knows how much of this is true. Right. Oh, these are pressure plates, so if I stand on them with my companions, it probably should open up that door. Let's check this one. Damn this silly thing! This bass relief depicts demons are complete. Oh, right, okay, so I failed that one. Right. That's cool. What about this one over here? Success. Nice. Okay, the long and glorious history of the Ivory Sanctum is described on this tablet. The Sanctum was built at the time of the Second Crusade and has served as a stronghold of Baphomet's unstoppable forces ever since. All right, and this one? Bit of lore here. Success. A chaotic conglomeration of confessions from the... I used to be a pad on the Eagle Watch, but then I succumbed to the temptation, met two of my friends and came here. I cooked for a Crusade army for five years, poisoning at least 100 soldiers. Nobody knows how much of this is true. Bloody hell, okay. I've walked into Doomsday. This Never place is going to be crazy. It's actually a proper dungeon, Trust I reckon. Put Ember and you on there. Open Sesame! Oh, it's Jerabeth. A familiar narrow shadow appears before you. The antennae on the creature's head quiver. Its hands linked tightly together. You have arrived, Commander. Comes the high-pitched voice in your head. You've discovered my castle in the clouds. Although it's far cry from where it once was, Jerebus's voice buzzes with irritation. I have something you need, information assistance. You can help me in return. Let's talk. As a gesture of my goodwill, I will even allow your companions to hear our conversation. See, I am immensely reasonable. What are you proposing? This place that I have sanctum used my per own personal domain, but in recent times I have been forced to share it with a horde of allies. There is one among them who will likely interest you, Zamfar the Plague's One. Jerebus' voice chitters with emotion. It drops to a heated whisper. A swarm that walks, a mesmerizing creation. Who could have imagined that a mortal could be turned into something so extraordinary? He is behind many of the calamities that have befallen you. It is from his hands that myself and other demons have received our new abilities. Kill him, and the lords will struggle to find his equal for a long time. I won't simply stand aside. I will help you as well. I'll tell you what I know, and ensure that my servants do not attack you here in the sanctum. Right, so we came into your house. Right, slay Zamfar Vang. So we came into your house ready to fight, and instead of fighting back, you're ready to give up your own side for us to kill. Even Wendog could learn something from you. <laughs> yeah, even Wendog. You're beginning to understand. You see, demons hate everyone. Our own kind, our enemies, even ourselves. Our entire lives are based on destruction for the sake of self-destruction. If someone is seeking the bleakest and most appalling death for themselves and everyone around them, what chance is there that they will feel compassion or friendship towards others? Aha! Uh -huh. So if demons are all so monstrous by nature and know nothing of honor or fellowship, remind me again, why did we trust you? You betray your own kind, why? What information are you willing to share with us? What did you do to Mahavok? I accept your offer. What did you do to Mahavok? I gave him the thing he wanted most, the chance to be with me forever, in a new form, one more convenient for me and for him as well. If I ever wish to take him with me to the abyss, for instance, you betray your own kind, why? Because I am a demon, you detect amusement in Jarvis' voice. Rules, laws, loyalty. Seek them in hell and heaven, anywhere in the abyss. I serve Lord Baphomet for as long as it benefited me more than it cost me. I was the mistress here, my castle on the clouds. The entire territory was under my control. But then, Menhigo, the arrogant fool, botched the attack on cannabis and the walled stones. A laboratory in Dresden was under threat, and Zamfa and his minions were quickly pulled out of the city. They offered up the sanctum for his use and made him the ultimate authority here over me. I was forced out my own private uh, quarters, made to live on the margins within my own home as a horde of demons from Discari's armies were herded in. With Xanthus playing commander and his servants ruining all my endeavours, there's nothing for me to do here. This place can fall for all I care. I will find a new patron in the abyss. That's why I'm telling you, kill our common enemy and I'll help you do it. Xanthu used to live in Dresden? Yes, close to Mandigo. Where did you think she got that pet Navosu of hers? Where can I find him? He's very close to my former private quarters. There's only a wall separating us, but his lair is well protected and you cannot access it from here. You have to make your way through the entire sanctum crossing the walls. Jesus, this is a proper dungeon. This is a proper fucking dungeon. The bridge and the main guard post, which is headed by the Cotis Zanandra. Coming back will be easier. There is a secret passage from Zampa's lair into my rooms that can only be opened from the other side. Hang on a minute. Why does Zampa have a passageway into your chambers that only he can open? Actually, don't answer that. I already got the picture. <laughs> Now I just need to find somebody who can wipe it from my memory so I can sleep tonight. You seem to have a low opinion of Discari's servants. I served Discari myself once, but I changed master because life among the Discariites was just unbearably boring. Unlike followers of Baphomet, Discari's minions have no appreciation for the finer pleasures. All they know is killing and ravaging. You saw one of them, uh, Daren Zand, in the Battle for Dresden. Yeah, that was that big kind of like demon lord thing, looked like the Balrog. He is a vivid embodiment of everything I despite about my former comrades, primitive and predictable butchers uh, the loss of them. 
What information are you willing to share with me? The information that you undoubtedly want more than anything. How the demons have started to acquire their new monstrous powers. It didn't stop with Xanthan, it won't end with him. But I will tell you what I know only if you fulfill your part of the deal. I accept your offer. The demon tilts her head side to side, that's good. Then listen. There are two factions in the Sanctum currently. The one who came here with Xanthan do not answer to me. That group includes ordinary demons, mythic demons and his royal mortal mages. You will have to fight them, there's no getting around that. But then there's a baffling followers as well. I'll give you my mark so that my subjects will take you for one of their own. They have been dying to take on our unwelcome house guests for a long time, so just tell them that the mistress says do it. Demon smiles wistfully. My mark will also serve another purpose. If you do defeat Xanthar, it will bind his swarm and force it to fly directly into my net. I cannot allow such a unique creature to disappear entirely. I will preserve him in some form. You once again hear an undercurrent of amusement in Jarabeth's voice. The demon waves a delicate hand in your direction. You are instantly doused in a sweet smelling wave. Then it passes. There. The mark is placed. Go. And find me in my main chamber when it's all over. Holy crap. Okay. The plot thickens. Let's reposition our team. Get everyone ready to go in. Or law stuff to me, rather. Okay. So we have this on us. Jareth's mark. This sign will make the servants of the demon Jareth acknowledge you. If you defeat Xanthar Vang, it will help Jareth capture his locust swarm. Right. So let's grab all Jareth a sneak in. Let's have a look. Let me take this a bit slower than normal. What is that? Symbol on the wall. Ghost here as well. Um, let's send you up here to scout. Let's grab everyone else. Push up for a second. Do great perception. Check. Why is everything shaking? Oh my lord. Was that a trap? Wait. What happens if I press it now? I don't know what's happening. Did I press it by accident? I must have. Okay, let's reposition ourselves. It's probably gonna come down this way soon. Okay, he's patrolling, okay, he's patrolling. Um, that's a big fucking boulder. What is this, Indiana Jones? Oh, me? Guys, run the fuck away. I think that would have killed me outright. It said citizen on it. <laughs> that poor citizen. Okay, so the boulder's kind of blocking the way here. So, all right, so this is a pressure plate to trigger off the boulder, I guess. And if I trigger off the boulder, it allows it not to kill me in time. Because I think if I pushed up further there, I probably wouldn't have been able to make it out because it's a long winding corridor that I can't get out of unless I go to the right, which is where the Minotaur was. Okay, so let's look for this Minotaur. Oh, there it is, okay. Stealth. Let's try and get sleep on it. Cool save as always. Hopefully it's just one. Let's make you AC onto that. I'll wait in a sec just to see what he does. I mean, he's obviously going to come towards me and try and kill me. I'll wait to see what kind of spells I should be using. There's an axe thrower there as well. Right, it's not alone. He is not alone. Let's go for sleep on the axe thrower. Okay, that's coming from me as well. Who is dying here? Camilla. Hey, okay, roll, well, we can run up. Is it still Camilla dying? Yes, it is. Um, I think I'll run over here. Jesus Christ! Who the hell gave him bloody pistols? What is he throwing at me? He's got like a machine gun, like an AK-47. AK-47. AK uh, what would you have to get in there as well? Time to share your treasures. Um, sleep or heal. Sleep or heal, sleep or heal. Heal would land instead. Maybe that's the plan. Oh wait. Bloody hell, I should not wait in. I don't think I would have been able to do that in time anyway. The suit's about to go off. Slumber, okay. Okay, the axe throws are really strong. What level are they again? 16, they're really strong, wow. I mean, I, um, Camilla's actually a tank as well. So it's quite surprising how fast she died. So that's down. Uh, let's see if we can get Camilla back off of her feet. We've got time anyway. I think we've got like one minute something. Yeah, one minute, 10 seconds. It'll be taking damage over time anyway from the slumber, I think, um, because of the new trait I've got. Let's go for a serious... You didn't shoot anything, did you? No. Let's go for serious healing. Serious. Okay, let's heal up again. What a bastard. I'm also do this just in case there's more of them. I don't want to take any risks. Ember? Yeah, my sleep's not doing damage over time. I'm pretty sure I took that ability, though. That's very strange. Is that bugged? 
me double check this really quickly. Ember. So, Ember, where is it? Do, 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 abilities. Is it feats? Is it the feats? No, I think it should be here somewhere, shouldn't it? There we go. Restless Slumber. Let's have a look at this really quickly. Which causes a creature within 30 feet to fall asleep in a riddle uh, with nightmares. Uh, additionally, the restless nature of the sleep causes the creature to violently toss and turn, dealing 1d10 points of damage to itself each turn. The damage does not wake the creature. When it wakes the creature's adult state, it causes it to be confused for a number of rounds equal to half the witch's level. The witch must have a, the slumber hex to select this hex. And it appears to be bugged, because it doesn't seem to be doing any damage at the moment. Let's do some lights. Really strange. It's got some sort of immunity to that. Just having a quick look. Oh shit, I've gone past that, haven't I? What am I doing? Yeah, it doesn't have any immunity to anything, so I'm guessing that ability's not working at this moment in time. Kind of sucks. Still got time for this. Come on. Bloody hell, it's taking ages. Am I doing it wrong? No. I mean, yes, you are. What are you going to say? Am I doing it right? Yes. Okay. Let's reposition. So, Wardrif, Roll, Camilla. Let's pop that as well. Spirit weapon enhancements. Look at my lightning weapon. Alright, put you there. Let's get the marksman there. Get everyone ready to shoot as soon as it gets up. I'll take as little damage as possible. This fucking ghost in the way, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Get my way, ghost. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So we're gonna wake up a coup de gras. A lovely, gentle coup de gras. Coup de gras. Coup de gras. Coup de gras. I didn't know I had it in me. Coup de gras. Blood potion. Right, okay. So they're down. Can we loot them? Yes, we can. About moves is over as well. Must work. Normal breastplates. Right, what does this ghost have to say for himself? Hello, ghost. Aha, uh -huh, fleet of foot are you, or light step is one or the other, or else you're stuck here with me. Oh, he's a clue to show, or to say that the bowler was coming soon. I get it, I get it. So I could duck to the right here. I'm going to be really careful of those bowlers. I'm pretty sure they're going to kill me at some point. Right, so let's grab wall drift. Let's keep inspecting this area really carefully. So that's dead end, is it? Let's grab everyone over here. See them over here. Always See if there's any perceptions. Nope, no perceptions, okay. Keep everyone in stealth. They'll never see me coming. Shit, let me do that. Wall jump over front door. Right. What's that? STG, level 10. Can we retreat already? Wow, he's got some range on him. Okay, so he saw me from a mile away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run back. We're gonna run you guys back as well. Are you still stealth? No, he's moving really, really goddamn slow. Wait, everyone else is moving slow as well. What are you guys doing? Um, let's go for a bum, 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 bum. one of these. Extend. Let's haste everyone up so we can get away quicker. Can you not die, Wooljif? Wow, that's a lot of baboos. Closest oh, arch is so bloody strong. Am I stuck? Can you not? What level are you? You're level 90, you're absolutely destroying him. Um, right, this is not good. This is not good at all. We just need to run away. Raul needs to go back and tank. Okay, I actually managed to reduce that damage. How? How do I reduce that? Damage to Bella was reduced to 39. Th doesn't look like I took any damage. I oh! I got the Feast of Blood on me. Because I, I think that gives me uh, HP, doesn't it? Uh, can't see cast temporary hit points equal to the maximum damage dealt. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Okay, Rail's gone in there. I wanted to gather everyone up a bit more. Oh my god! Was this Cotus Archer? Like intervention? Bloody hell. Let's pull back a sec. Pull myself back as well. They've managed to go through my temporary health, I think, already. Yes, they did. Bloody hell. They can transform? They can transform? Okay. Okay. That's uh, good to know. Reposition everyone. I'm about to be shot by the coast arch. How? What the fuck is your range? You're shooting me through a wall, you bastards. I'm back again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, Bella, 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 Bella. Wait, that's Ember. Ember, 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 Ember. So, your touch is low. Oh, I can't target the other one next to it. Hmm. 
I think we should focus Ember's stuff. No, wait, 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 wait. Control Fireball instead. That'll get most of them, I think. Yeah. Control Fireball. Uh, let's grab Team Archer. Let's try and finish off the STD. If I can select him. Oh, I can't select him. Oh, he's on the ground. That's why he's on the ground. He got tripped. Okay. You guys on that. Uh, Miller, let's put some skeletons. Skeletons? Skeletons to stop that. Stop that. I can't talk anymore. Okay, right, big bang attack coming out. Uh, we'll just all dying. Shall we go for another one of these? I feel like I'm wasting a lot of my AOE. Well, not wasting, but maybe I should bone explosion them. They're pretty gathered. Okay, big attack there. Half HP with everything. And look, dead's going out. Bone explosion going out as well. Uh, I've still got the sword on. The SD went down. Uh, we'll just still really low. I guess I could take a potion with him. Try and get back into the fight a bit quicker. But I'll do that. So let's say someone else having to heal him. Uh, let's go for it. Is serious? Nah. Put some moderates on. Stand in the back and pop them. Okay, let's pop them. That bone explosion though. Holy crap. Some of them survived. With like one HP as well. It's quite depressing. Okay, let's keep healing up. You guys still doing your thing. Ember, are you casting Scorching Rays? I don't want you to do that actually. Maybe a fireball in there. Don't know how safe that is for Raul, but I need to finish them off. And they're all in like one HP. They're all dropping pretty fast. I need to bring Bella back to it. Took a smack there because it's got massive ring. Roll's going down. Okay, I pretty much cleared all of them now, that last fireball. Roll's about to die. I should probably switch. Oh, is Babu Warrior still alive? Um, Team Archer, what are you guys doing? Team Archer, Team Archer. Team Archer. And the Babu Warrior. We'll just keep going on the Babu Warrior as well. Um, I need to get ready to bring Raul back, I think, from the living. From death, I mean. From dead. Stuff. Stuff and things. Um, Siphon Life. Onto this. I'll keep land free actually to bring uh, Raul back from death with uh, Breath of Life. Two of them. Pretty sure he's gonna die here. There's a Siphon. He's still surviving. Um, Magic Missiles. Well, can serve as much resting as possible here. Need to keep an eye on the Sucrus as well, she has a tendency not to attack. Babu Warrior down here? No. Babu Demon's been summoned. Bro, are you, what are you doing? You're not even attacking anymore. Jesus Christ. Okay, did he die? Yes, he did. Okay, Lan. I said we can bring you back. Do it, Lan. Uh, everyone's fucking dying. Kill him! What's Ember doing? I think Emma's just standing there doing nothing actually. Just realised she needs to be evil eyeing. Eyeing. Here's a breath of life. Minus one level. Did he come back? What? Oh, did I just take that on the way back up again? The minus one level. Is that a thing? Can I breath of life again? Let's try one more time. One. Nice, okay, so he's back. That means I don't have to rest so quickly. I knew he was gonna go down there. Okay, I've got some negative levels on him. Uh, where's Camilla? Camilla, well. Camilla. Restoration onto, well, ooh. wait, are these temporary or not? No, they're full, okay. There we go, Raul is back. Fully, oh, he always busts run out. I guess he got dispelled a lot by those bad dudes. That's probably why he went down so fast there, I'm guessing. Right, and with that, we're gonna end part 41 there. Like, subscribe, and we'll see if we can take over the whole of Ivory Sanctum in part 42. Take care.